Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL latest version that is 16.4 on Linux Mint 28. But the process is same on all Linux Mint versions. First, open any web browser. It can be either Firefox or Google Chrome. Now go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Click on download. Then click on Linux. Then select the Ubuntu. See, we don't have any option for Linux Mint, but we are going to use Noble, okay? That I will replace here. Instead of the star LSB release hyphen CS, I will keep this Noble, okay? Remaining options or steps are common. So, first we have to install this curl and CS certificates. So, copy this command. Open terminal, paste it, hit enter, provide the password. Call on CS certificates are already newest versions. Okay, then run this next command that is installing this VGTG. It is done. Now importing the signing key. Copy, paste it, hit enter, it is success. Now we have to create the repository configuration file. Copy this one, but as I told you earlier, we have to use the novel. Okay, copy this one, paste it, just replace from this brackets to dollar with noble check the spell again it is noble okay so hit enter i will keep this command in the video description it is done now update the packages sudo apt update hit enter you can ignore this error now install the PostgreSQL. See, if you want to install PostgreSQL 15, here we have to give 15. If you want to install 16, no need to give the version. So if you don't give version, it will install the latest. Let me show you. Control to clear screen. sudo apt y install PostgreSQL. If you give this one, it will install the latest. If you want to install 14, you have to give hyphen 14. You want to install 15 you have to give a hyphen 15 okay if you don't give anything it will install the latest version okay so hit enter see here it is installing postgresql 16.1 okay we have successfully installed postgresql 16 let us verify sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hyphen 16. It is typo. So, no need to give the version. See, PostgreSQL service is running and it is enabled. Q to kit, control L to clear screen. Now connect to PostgreSQL servers. sudo su hyphen hyphen postgres this is the username then psql psql is the command line tool now verify the installed postgresql version this is the psql client version not the postgresql version so select version see we have installed postgresql 16.4 q to fit now verify list of the users backslash du See, we have only one user that is super user. The first step after connecting to PostgreSQL server is we have to set the password for this Postgres user, which is the super user. So, command is alter user Postgres with password, then you the password. Put semicolon at the end of the statement. See, alter role means it is success. Now let us verify list of 
databases backslash l see we have these three databases these three databases comes with installation of postgresql postgres template 0 and template 1 q to quit let us create a database create database r2 schools put semicolon at the end now verify again backslash l c your database r2 schools is added okay q to quit also we can verify the list of the databases by running the command select star from pg underscore database but it is lengthy output this is the oid oid for the respective database name q to quit if you want to see only database names you know how to give that name see we got the limited output if you want to create users create user james with password we have successfully created let us verify see new user james is created okay now switch to new database and create tables we are presently working on this postgres database so to switch new database we have to use backslash c or backslash connect then database name database name is r2 schools see you are now connected to the database r2 schools as the user postgres if you want to verify the current user select current underscore user see this type of see we are connected with the username postgres let us create table create table student s number that is student number int primary key s name where cat 50 put semicolon at the end of the statement for the statement completion hit enter now verify list of tables backslash t see we have the table student type is table one is postgres schema is public if you want to see list of schemas give the backslash dn see we have only one schema that is public now insert some data into this table insert into table name student values 100 name put semicolon we have inserted one row insert one more row or one more record one more row is inserted now try to insert one more row with same s number this will throw error because here we have defined primary key. let us execute it see duplicate key value violate unique constant student primary key so we have to give different student number but name can be anything so replace this with okay we have successfully inserted three rows let us verify select star from student or we can give the s name s name from student or if you want, if you want only retrieve student names you select s name from student okay so like this we can query the data against the table now we will see configuration files show config underscore file this is the configuration file for the process see this is the file location with the file this is the file name with the location okay if you want to see the hpa file that is host based authentication file you the H show hba underscore file see this is the file name now exit from this user and try to connect with new user that is james psql hyphen u it must be caps u then d that is postgres it enter c error connection peer authentication failed okay that so we have to add this user information in this was to based authentication file okay so that i will show you in some other video now we will see 
how to stop, start and restart versus SQL service on Linux Mint 28. sudo systemctl status postgresql. See, this is the command to check the status of postgresql. If you want to stop, use the command sudo systemctl stop postgresql. Hit enter, it is stop. Now verify sudo systemctl status postgresql. See, postgresql service is inactive and dead. We have stopped it 7 seconds ago. You took it. Now switch to postgres user and try to connect. Now if we try to give the PSQL, see we got the error, connection to server socket failed. Okay. Now also it, it is asking us is the server running locally and accepting connection connections on the socket. Okay. Now start it and verify. Sudo system CTL start postgres SQL and provide the power. So we don't have the permission with Postgres user. So exit. Now we can start Postgres user with this root user or sudo user. Okay. So sudo but not with Postgres. That's why we got the error. sudo systemctl start Postgres SQL. Hit enter. We have successfully started. Let us verify sudo system ctl status postgres equal hit enter see we have successfully started this now try to connect it for sudo su hyphen postgres psql see we have successfully connected exit again exit from this user now we will see how to restart the postgres equal service sudo system ctl restart postgres equal we have successfully restarted sudo system ctl status postgres sql see we have successfully started 8 seconds ago okay q to fit control to clear screen so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgres sql 16.2 on linux mint 22 wilma version for more postgres sql or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you